guys, so now I'm going to bother you again. Now we're going to talk about uh, the other way around. Okay, uh, previous to this, we are going from grams to moles. Now we're going to go from moles to grams using also the molar mass, but instead of dividing by the molar mass, now we're going to multiply by the molar mass. Uh, so again, we go for our given, and in this situation, our given is 4 moles of um, the copper 2 cyanide. And what we want, whoops, what we want is now instead of moles, we want actually grams of copper cyanide. Okay, and so now, again, we our next step is to find the molar mass. The molar mass in this situation would be uh, of copper, carbon, and nitrogen. <coughs> uh, we look at copper and we have to identify how many atoms copper has in the system for copper or cyanide and it only has one copper. Uh, in the part for uh, carbon, if you notice it does have uh, a coefficient, I mean a subscript of number uh, of one, but you also can't forget about that two outside of the parentheses as a subscript, so you have to distribute that two. So then it'll be one times two A little star or 1x2 which gives us what 2 and then same thing for nitrogen there is 1 but you must distribute that 2 into the into the cyanide ion and ion I should say uh, and again it also gives us 2 the next thing we need want to find out is the molar mass the molar mass of copper uh, is uh, 63.546, so we are going to round off to 63.5. Um, we are rounding off to the tenth position. So 63.5, uh, and that'll be grams uh, per mole. And then for carbon, I'm sorry, for carbon, it'll be 12.011, which we round off to 12. Uh, so we got to multiply that by, let be consistent here, uh, times 12, uh, point zero, sure. And then for nitrogen, if we look at our periodic table, it'll be 14.007, which we're going to round to 14. Um, so 14.0. Again, let's be consistent. Um, so as we multiply, we're going to get a 63 uh, times 1, which would be 63.5. And then for the next one, it would be 12 times 2. In this case, would be 24.0. And 14 times 2, which gives me 28.0. So now the next thing that you would need to do is you would need to add um, and once we add we end up with let's see here we'll end up with um, so we're going to add uh, 63.5 plus 24 plus 28. And I get uh, 115.5. Okay, and that'll be grams of, uh, excuse me, of copper, of copper cyanide. Divided by one, oops. So divided by uh, one mole of copper cyanide. Okay. So then now uh, we go back to uh, let's see. Let's see if we can uh, 
set up our pro uh, problem. And then again, we're going to set up our problem by uh, placing what we want, uh, what our given is. And in this case, our given is 4 moles of copper cyanide. And now uh, we must place this uh, in our t-chart, as we have said. Uh, so now, once we place our t-chart, uh, again, and this time, uh, uh, instead of dividing by the molar mass, we're going to multiply by the molar mass because we want the grands. So then we're going to multiply by 115.5 uh, grams of copper cyanide. And then we are going to divide by, we are going to divide by one mole of copper cyanide. So now our moles are going to cancel out, and let's see what our math looks like. And it's going to end up looking like something of the following. Uh, we're going to end up with 4 uh, times uh, 115.5 grams of copper cyanide. Let's go ahead and close that in parentheses. All of this will be divided by... Uh, divided by the mole, one mole of copper cyanide. So the answer to this would be 4 times 115 divided by 1. I'm sorry. It would be divided by 1. I apologize again. Because the moles do cancel out. And so my answer here would be one uh, time 115.5 times 4. And the answer for this problem will be... 462. Sorry, guys. I put it somewhere down here. Four sixty two grams of. Precise. Okay, so 